notice off and on these earth magnetic field stories periodically keep coming out. So I know it is something that is really concerning them. And again, it's one of these things happening that no man on this planet can dominate or control. It is going to happen whether you like it or not. And if everything flips, it's over instantly. <laughs> okay, instantly it's over. So this came out in Newsweek, May 2nd, 2019. Earth's magnetic field, as we know, is moving towards Siberia. And it is going at such a pa uh, fast pace that they can't even keep up with this thing. So Earth's magnetic North Pole is hurling towards Siberia. And one day the whole field is going to flip. Earth's magnetic field is behaving strangely. No, it's doing what it's supposed to do. We've just probably never seen this in our lifetime before, but this definitely is not the first time this has happened. In recent months, scientists discovered the magnetic North Pole was moving far faster than expected, speeding away from the Canadian Arctic and towards Siberia. The change in location was so significant that experts had to issue an unscheduled update to the world magnetic model. The large scale representation of the magnetic field, which is used extensively in navigation systems across the world. So, I remember when this first came out, actually it was when the government had shut down, when they noticed the fast pace of the magnetic field moving. And around that same time, I was having a lot of trouble with GPS in the car. And I wasn't understanding why. And the thing is, I was talking to other people around me and they were having the same issue. So um, uh, what caused this unexpected change was not clear, although some scientists have since suggest it could be related to geomagnetic jerks, a phenomena discovered in the 1970s where the magnetic field accelerates abruptly, abruptly at random intervals. On top of this, a number of experts have said the magnetic field is due to reverse, meaning the magnetic north and south pole swap places. Wow. Intervals between the reversal are irregular, but generally happening a few times every million years. At present, it is thought Earth is overdue one. So ladies and gentlemen, this can easily happen in our lifetime. And the thing is, I think they know this. That's why they're talking about it off and on. I've been reading about this off and on since January the speed of the magnetic field, and they're still talking the same thing. In an email interview with Newsweek, Phil Livermore, associate professor of geophysics at the University of Leeds, UK, spoke about what is going on with the magnetic field. What is the Earth's magnetic field and what does it do? Earth's magnetic field surrounds our planet, acting as an invisible force field that shields life on Earth's surface, including crucial electrical infrastructure, such as satellites and power grids, but harmful radiation from the sun. Now that, well, that harmful radiation still makes it onto the planet. Okay, just look at the people that burn up in the sun. That should tell you right there. 
Although the geomagnetic field is at least 3 billion years old, according to studies of ancient rocks, its structure has shown persistent fluctuations through time, most notably including global polarity reversals, which have occurred hundreds of times during its history. Many navigation systems ranging from defense systems to smart apps rely on accurate knowledge of the magnetic field to determine direction, underlying the importance of understanding how and why it changes. Interesting. So if the magnetic field change and everything flips, then GPS is no good. Why does it move? Earth's magnetic field is generated within Earth's liquid interior by swirling motions of molten iron. Just like uh, changeable weather and climate driven by motion within our atmosphere, the magnetic field is constantly on the move. The dynamics of the core are very challenging to understand, principally because the core is separate from us on the Earth's surface by the uh, mantle, about 3,000 kilometers, which is 1,864 miles of solid rock. However, global networks of ground-based observatories um, and satellites measure changes in the magnetic field, which along with computer models of the core give us insight into dynamics at the heart of our planet. Wow. How fast does the magnetic North Pole normally move and how did this change? The first expedition to find the North Magnetic Pole where the magnetic field points vertically downward has undertaken by James Clark Ross in 1831 Subsequent expeditions and global observ uh, observations from both Earth's surface and space allow a reconstruction of the history of the North Magnetic Pole. Prior to 1990, the North Magnetic Pole moved at a sedated speed of approximately zero to 15 kilometers a year. Um, zero to nine miles an hour a year. But in the 1990s, its speed dramatically increased to its present value of 50 to 60 kilometers per year, or 31 to 37 miles an hour a year. No, oh, that's, uh, that's a huge jump. Wow. The position of North Pole seemed to be controlled by a tug of war between two, part, uh, two patches of magnetic field, one under Siberia and one under Canada. Weakening the Canadian patch explains the acceleration of the pole. What does this change have to do with geometric uh, magnetic jerks? which they said they discovered in the 1970s. Geomagnetic jerks are a sudden alteration in the behavior and the magnetic field as measured on Earth's surface, specifically in the rate of change with time and often geographically localized. Jerks occur frequently. For example, there have been recent jerks in 20. 07, 2011, and 2014, although the North Magnetic Pole has also shown a recent change from its historic behavior. Its persistent speed over a few decades means it is not obviously connected with geomagnetic jerks. When will the Magnetic North Pole get to Siberia and where will it go after that? 
the North Magnetic Pole crossed the international date line in late 2017 and now is on the other side of the world from Canada heading towards Siberia. If it continues along its current trajectory and speed within two decades, it will reach Siberia, predicting the geomagnetic field is very difficult. However, it is entirely possible that the magnetic pole may return to Canada in the future. Wow, they really don't know. I mean, they're literally just taking guesses on what's going to occur. They don't know. You know, if you never live through one of these things, then you have no way of telling anybody. All you can do is hypothesize about it, but it's not really accurate. You may be close to being accurate, but it's not really 100% accurate what they're telling us. So they're saying, um, when will the magnetic field next flip? What happened last time it did? Um, now they're saying that they estimated that it happened 780,000 years ago, although a uh, failed reversal and last champ event occurred around 41,000 years ago when the field temporarily reversed and rapidly switched back to its previous polarity. So they don't know. Um, we weren't here 41,000 years ago or 780,000 years ago. So again, these scientists can't do anything, but guess what happened back then? Magnetic flips occurred about three times per million years, which coupled with the current weakening trend of the global magnetic field by about 5% per century has led to speculation that planet Earth may be headed for a reversal. Life has clearly survived the many magnetic reversals. Indeed, early humans successfully managed to live through the last cap event. Uh, it is unclear, however, how a globally changing magnetic field might impact animals and Magnet reception that they, for example, might use to navigate a long distance during migration. Well, I'm sure it will throw off a lot of things. You know, wow. Well, everything didn't die. I mean, we wouldn't be here if everything died the last time it reversed. So everything on earth did not die. Apparently the animals had to survive and the people had to survive too. Um, what are you working at the moment in relations to the magnetic field? The trio of swarm satellites are currently taking measurements from space, producing the best ever survey of our changing planetary magnetic field. Understanding this rich and high resolution data set gives us an unprecedented opportunity to learn about the interior of our planet. One key challenge, which is becoming ever closer to our grasp, is to be able to model the changes we have seen over the last few decades. If we can do this, then we may have a decent chance of accurately predicting what lies in store for Earth in the coming, in the years to come. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I think this is just a normal occurrence that happens to the planet, and it has to happen. And it probably has to happen for the planet to remain living. Remember, Earth is a living planet. And it has to go through certain cycles and certain changes in order to remain alive. And I really think this is just one of those things that have to keep the Earth's heart beating 
or otherwise, if it did make these changes, it would be just like Mars and all of the other planets where you don't really see any life or any living greenery or trees on the surface of the planet. But please tell me what you think. I mean, it's amazing how frequent these stories are coming out now. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.